Hello, I'm Richard Ray, and this next guest is one of the most recognizable faces in the business these days. You've likely seen him pop on, up in several places. For example, he's been on Stranger Things, which I love, the new Taika Waititi comedy Reservation Dogs, which is great. It's Maddie carter Maddie, thanks for joining us, man. How you doing? Thanks for having me and perfect pronunciation. That was a <laughs> Yeah, you do have a you do have a tough name there, but carter I got it right. And my middle name is Richard, so we have a lot in common. And I've got a grandson named Maddie, so we're cooking right along here. Oh, cool. We have seen you uh, pop up all over the place. How did you become involved in Night Night? Had you worked with uh, director Nikki uh, Koss before? Yes, I have worked with Nikki before. Uh, we worked together. I first met Nikki on a horror film. Uh the, the experience uh, with her was not a horror, but it was a horror film. And uh, yeah, we uh, we worked on this film called uh, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, long title. But yeah, um, we worked on that together. And uh, she uh, thought it was funny. So we uh, she wrote me into this other uh, project. She was doing a pilot script. Uh, where I played like a chef or something. Um, and then she had this, you know, this new role, Night Night. Uh, and I flew out to Texas and uh, had a blast, improvised a lot. And uh, it was a fun time. Yeah, I want to ask you about that in a minute. But first of all, let me ask you, what role do you get recognized most in public for now? Up until Night Night, which is not yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's Stranger Things for sure. Yeah, that's the number one thing. I'd say Stranger Things, A Series of Unfortunate Events, Jurassic World, I get recognized quite a bit. And uh, lately it's been Free Guy. Uh, a lot of people really like that movie. Yeah, I really did like Stranger Things. I know there's another season coming out on that. Uh, what performance of your yours outside of, again, Night Night, what performance is the one you were maybe most proud of? Uh, that I'm most proud of. Um, well, uh, I haven't seen Night Night yet, so <laughs> uh, um, I'm sure I did. I'm very proud of myself for that one, obviously. Um, but lately, I think it's been the show that I'm on called Reservation Dogs on Hulu uh, that I've really been very proud of um, in terms of like uh, being part of the show it's it's such an honor because it's uh mainly uh a native cast which is very cool um and just uh just yeah just being a part of that world has been really uh inspiring and uh it's just an honor yeah so everyone check out that reservation dogs on hulu it must must make you happy to see the kind of critical reviews that's it's really getting raves for being a great yeah, show yeah people love it and they should it's it's a really great show okay you're a young guy and you're working a lot what advice do you have for other actors who might be oh yeah to get into the business great question um i'd say don't give up and uh i even have a note on my door that says don't quit see there you go <laughs> just, uh, daily keep, reminder yeah daily reminder for myself to just keep uh, keep throwing the darts at the dartboard and uh, just uh, just putting as much uh, you know thought and experience into what you do and uh, experience I mean like you know learning new skills um, you know just uh, learning as much as you can about being an actor and putting yourself out there not giving up working hard being kind, um, putting your heart into everything you do. And again, put a lot of thought into what you do. And, you know, kind of the main thing, have fun doing it. Have a blast doing it. Enjoy it. Absolutely. Okay, for those who don't know what Night Night's about, can you give us a thumbnail of what this movie's about? Yes. Um, so uh, the, the lead character wakes up uh, from a coma and she kind of has to deal with the trauma of that of getting back into the world I would say 
That's what it's about. It's a thriller. What about your character, Lucas Willard? What drew you to that particular character? I think I play like a goofy cop. So a, a kind of a, a, a cop that adds some comedic, uh, you know, a comedic vibe for the movie, which, which is fun. You, you played a lot of funny characters. Did you get a chance to ad lib and, and improv with, it, with this movie? Oh, yeah. I improvised a lot. Yeah. I can't remember any specifics because I just, <laughs> I just kind of let it flow. And I like to, uh, a lot of the times I'll use real experiences or past experiences uh, in my improv if something comes up because the truth is always the funniest thing when it comes to comedy. So um, I try and add that element into what I do. So. Yeah, there's, I definitely improvise in the movie. Okay, you said you'd worked with Nikki Koss before as an actor. Yeah. She's an actor, actress. I, how was it working with a first time director, Nikki Koss? Oh, amazing. She's a pro. She knows what she wants. She's an amazing leader. Uh, she's fun to work with. She, she's an actor, so she has that experience of working with other people, which is really cool. So yeah, I had a blast working with Nikki. Well, it had to be kind of an experience to work in a relatively small town in sort yeah. of central Texas, Corsicana. What was that like? Uh, it was really cool. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get to really explore much of the town because I was only there a couple of days. But I went to the to the subway that was next to my hotel. And that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we let you go, oh, what are you working on? There. Okay, go ahead. Waffle House. Waffle House. I love Waffle House. Yeah, you got to go to Waffle House if you're in Chris yeah. Cameron. Before we let you go, what are you working on now that uh, you might want to share with folks? Uh, well, um, uh, check out Reservation Dogs. And also I have a, 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 uh, another show, another movie, excuse me, uh, called The Cleaner that's coming out. And uh, also a Netflix show that I'm in um, called We Lost Our Human. That's coming out. Uh, I, I'm not sure when that's coming out, but look out for that. Uh, that's okay. really fun. And uh, yeah, so those are the projects. And I have another pro NDA thing that I can't talk about. So yeah, just just uh, just look out for me. I'm out there. Okay, and how can people follow you if they want to kind of keep track of what's going on with Maddie Cabo? I'm on all the internets. I'm on Instagram, uh, Twitter. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and IMDb, I'm all over the place. Folks want to, want to see more about it. It's, uh, on an internet set now, uh, internet site now, night, night movie dot yeah, really Nice. Thank you, Matty Cutter. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you.